Okay, so last time we talked about um, making or calculating payments in Excel. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper with that. So, okay, so you notice up here it says amortization. So we're going to create an amortization table. And what that is, is this is a schedule of paying off a debt. So amortize means to pay off a debt over time. It comes from the Latin ad means towards, mort means death. So you're basically killing off your debt. I know. You didn't think we were going to get violent in math class, but okay. Okay, so in this case, let's say we're borrowing something uh, bigger like a house or you're buying a car or something like that that you're going to be paying off over several years. So when you buy a house on credit, and I think, I think when you buy a car on credit, I'm pretty sure they give you with a car, I know they give it to you with a house, they give you this amortization table. And it's basically a schedule that tells you like month by month, like your payment stays the same, but you have month by month what your payment is and then the parts of that payment. So when you make a payment, not all of it's going towards the debt, only part of it's going towards the debt. The other part is going towards the interest and it doesn't stay the same every month. So they kind of, they waited a little bit. So in the beginning, you're paying more towards interest than you are towards the payment itself, like towards the debt itself. And then as you go along, you pay more towards the debt. And I think, you know, the banks kind of stack it that way because they want to make sure they get their money in case you pay it off early. So, okay. So again, let's say we're borrowing, let's say we find a house for 120,000. Oh no, let's, let's pretend we're buying a car. Let's say you find one for 24,000. And let's say you pay it off. Standard for cars has generally been about six years, but sometimes now you'll see them over seven years. Let's say six years. Interest, we're going to pretend 2.8%. A lot of times it depends on when you buy. Dealerships will have like promotions where no interest for six years, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're also making 12 payments per year, so that's going to be 12. Um, this rate and the number of periods is the same as it was before this you're not entering you're going to use this to calculate that so the rate is the portion of the interest per year or per month right so we're going to do equals we're going to click on the interest divide by number of payments per year da, da, da. so that's you're, you're just paying a little bit of interest right there your number of periods this is the number of payments per year so this is going to be equals or number of payments total. So we have 12 payments per year and we're paying it off over six years. So that is 72 payments altogether. Okay. So the first thing we can do is we can calculate our payment like we did before. So that's going to be equals. We're going to do a PMT, open parentheses. First, it wants our rate. So we click on that, comma, our number of periods. So we click on that, comma, present value, which is the amount that you're borrowing. So I click on that. And then future value, we're paying it off. So it's going to be zero. If you were paying it down to a different amount, you would put that amount there. But if you don't put anything, Excel assumes zero because they're assuming that you're paying it off. So I would close parentheses. And that other thing um, right here, this type, that is just, it's asking if you're paying at the beginning of the month or the end of the month. Um, it's not necessary. I'm going to close parentheses. Enter. So our payment is going to be $362.50. Keep in mind that's only the payment. That's not your insurance or anything like that. Okay. So this is what we did in the last video. Now we're going to look at, in this video, the part of it going to principal and the part of it going to interest. The principal is the amount that you borrowed. So this is PB for present value or principal. That's the, the amount your loan amount. Okay, so sometimes it refers to it as principal, sometimes in the formula itself, it's PV. Okay, so in the amortization table, first of all, you're going to know each of these things for each single payment that you have. So I'm going to number this. One, two, three. The payment number is going to go all the way down to this number of periods. So you're going to number all the way to 72. Obviously, I'm not typing in 72. I'm going to type in like three of them, and then I'm going to click this little bottom right here. I'm going to drag it all the way to 72. Right now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and drag it because because why not? But I'm not actually going to mess with most of them right now. But it'll give it to us for later. Okay, payment. This payment is always the same. It never changes. So I'm going to go equals. 
I'm going to refer to this square. But you know how it always is when we click and drag, it, it as we go down, it references down as well. So I want it to always reference this one. So we learned before that if we want to always reference that, it's all about the dollar dollar bill. That's my lame cheesy song reference. There we go. So dollar C, dollar 10. So that means you can click and drag, you can do whatever, it'll always just reference that. Ta-da. So see if I click and drag a few of them stays the same because your monthly payment stays the same. What doesn't stay the same is how much of it's going to the actual loan and how much of it's going to the interest. That's going to change. <clears throat> so this video is all about that, basically. So we know how to use the payment function. That was just equals PMT. And then you fill in the stuff. This one is almost the exact same. But this one, we're going to go equals PPMT. Da -da -da principal part of payment, right? And it says returns the payment on the principal for a given investment, blah, blah, blah. So I put open parentheses. And it wants pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing it wants um, different usually is it usually wants this number right here. Okay. So rate, I'm going to click on rate, comma, period. So notice like before we had the rate and we had the NPER, now we have the PER. That means which payment is it? So for this one, we're gonna click on the payment number, comma, NPER, so that's this one, comma, principal value. Now, before we do anything with this, we need to, we need to check some stuff. This one right here is the only thing that we want to change as we click and drag this. These three always need to be those three. So I'm going to come up here. Okay, so the red one is what I want to leave. So that's this B15. Everything else gets dollars. Dollar, dollar. And then for my purple one, which is my NPER, I get a dollar, dollar. And for my C3, which is the amount that I borrowed, also dollar, dollar. Okay. So, and then, you know, you could put future value again. It automatically assumes zero. So we don't have to fill that in. Enter. So in this case, I paid $362, but only 306 of that went to my payment. The rest of it's going to go to interest. That brings us to this one. So interest, we're going to go e equals. And instead of PMT, you know, it's PMT for payment, PPMT for principal payment. Interest is going to be IPMT. So this is my interest part of the payment. So this is the interest payment. Open parentheses, it wants the exact same thing. So basically, if we wanted to, I could take this. I could copy that whole thing. Come over here, paste it, and then change this to an I. That's the easy way to do it. So like this month, we paid 56. You could also just type it in. So if I go IPMT, it wants the rate, comma. It wants this payment, comma, number of periods, and present value. And again, don't forget, we want it to always refer to these three. So we're going to go up and we're going to put our dollars. So dollar on the blue one, on the purple one, and on the green one. Uh, $56. So you could have done it either way. You could have just copied and changed the P to an I, or you could type it in. Either way, that's your pay principal part of your payment. So this is the part that's actually paying off your debt. This is the part that's making the bank rich. So now that we have this set up, all we got to do is click and drag all the way down. So notice as it goes down, you're paying more and more to the actual debt and your interest, you'll be paying less and less. But they they stack it so that they get their money. You know, that way if like you're paying along and then you go, oh man, I'm going to pay it the rest of the way off. Well, they've already made their money because they're taking their money out first. Okay, because otherwise they wouldn't be banks, right? So that's what we're doing on this video. So it's all about the principal part of the payment, the interest part of the payment. The next video, we're going to complete the rest of the table.